Hey, what is up guys? ID Sustos here back with another video. And in this video, we are going to deal with a somewhat interesting and cool topic. How about putting Android 6.0 inside a Windows PC? And what if I say that this thing can be done in a simple way without formatting your hard drive, without removing your current Windows operating system and without any further risks? Yes, we are going to use a simple trick called as virtualization, which is a well-known trick to everyone out there. But if you don't know, then the documentation is right below in the description. And um, this virtualization is simple. You are going to run one operating system on the top of another operating system. So for doing this process, installing Android in a Windows PC, you need basically two things, the hypervisor software and the Android operating system itself. So let us jump into the actual thing. And and see how it is done. Hey guys, how about coding up your t-shirts with other codes or images of your own choice or how about redesigning your coffee mugs with your BAE speak or some lovely codes to make your tea time better or why not even wrapping up your laptops and mobiles with skins of your own choice. What if I say that all these things can be done in a single platform? Yes, printfornew.com. Printfornew.com is a website which offers you to wrap up a business card, wall posters, mouse pads, laptops, lots and lots of things. They offer hundreds of products to wrap it up with the skins and pictures of your own choice. All you need to do is go to printfornew.com, choose the image of your choice, crop it up to the required dimensions and then that's it. Check out. And don't forget to use the coupon code ITSSTAS during the process of checkout to gain a 30% off on all your purchases. To learn more, click the link in the video description. And now let us start off the process by downloading VirtualBox and the Android operating system. Well, both these things are free and you need not be even a single bug to download these two things. No, they are free and open source. Uh, first, let us start downloading uh, VirtualBox. This is the hypervisor which will be running your Android operating system on the top of your Windows operating system. And uh, go inside VirtualBox side, the link is there in the description. Click it and go inside the site and download it based on your operating system, host operating system. And in my case, we are using a Windows operating system. So I'm downloading it for the Windows. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's go into androidx86.org. This is the website which acts as a repository for all the x86 based Android operating system image files. This is, this is a collection of Android operating system files which is compatible with personal computer platforms and they are open source, they are for experimentation and educational purposes and they collect no money uh, for downloading the operating system. They are free and open source and their only source of income is the paper click ads on the top so don't use ad blockers and block their only source of income and uh, select the android operating system you need and here i'm going to show you how to install android 6.0 and uh, all the android operating system installations will be in the same way as this so select android 6.0 and download this is around 600 megabytes so it might take a long time after downloading these two things we are set now it's time to install both the things. First let us start by installing VirtualBox in your PC. Installing VirtualBox is not that difficult, it's easy. Just next, next, choosing the directory for installing VirtualBox, next, next, finish and done. VirtualBox installation takes not more than a minute and uh, after installing VirtualBox, it's time to create a new virtual machine inside VirtualBox. This is the initial startup screen of VirtualBox and on the left pane, you have the virtual machines created inside VirtualBox and on the right side, you have the configurations of the virtual machine you have created before. And now we are going to create a new virtual machine for installing or for running our Android operating system. So select new option from the top pane and uh, first let us start by giving the name of the virtual machine. This can be anything you prefer. After giving the name, it will ask for the operating system type and the variant of the operating system. And uh, while selecting the operating system, don't get shocked. There will not be an option named as Android, but there will be an option named as Linux. 
and if you know or not android is completely a linux based operating system so choose linux and when coming to the version section uh, as we have chosen linux as a primary virtual machines operating system now virtualbox will display a list of all the linux distros and versions and in my case i have downloaded the 64 bit version of android so i'm going to select other linux 64 bit version and after doing these things you have named your operating system you have selected how your operating system is gonna be but now it's time to choose the hardware virtualized hardware for your virtual machine when coming to selecting the primary memory don't go beyond the green line it's the safe zone uh, my PC has a 16 gigs RAM so uh, safer side I will be selecting 4 gigs of RAM for my virtual machine and next option you will be asked to select the virtual storage drive for your virtual machine this is the most important thing because this is going to hold the operating system and the files which you are going to download or install are inserted inside the virtual machine and on selecting the virtual device storage select virtual disk image and this will be created as a file inside your PC inside your host operating system now while selecting the type of the virtual disk uh, select dynamic so that it will not waste any of your physical storage for safer side I'm going to select 20 gigs of virtual disk storage memory and after doing all these things you are 100% set in initializing the process of creating the virtual machine for running your Android operating system but have we noted a thing we haven't installed Android yet we still have the Android ISO file left in our desktop without any usage so now we are going to install the Android 6.0 ISO file inside the virtual machine so for doing that click on the android virtual machine that is the virtual machine which you have created inside virtual box and right click or select settings and inside the settings menu or the settings window you will find an option named as storage and here is where we are going to perform the actual magical thing of installing the android thing and here inside the storage section you have your virtual disk image file and below that you have a virtual optical disk driver file you put an external drive like an optical disk or a pen drive or a flash drive to your pc and from that drive you will install the operating system to your physical hard drive in the same way we are going to perform the same thing here too so right click there there will be a disk drop down icon select that and from that select the iso file after selecting the file it's time to install the android operating system now start the virtual machine and while starting the virtual machine it will directly boot into the optical disk drive because that will be chosen as the primary boot device inside the virtual machine settings and now there will be options like run android um, debug mode and things like that but we want to install android so select using the navigation keys in your keyboard and after selecting it will debug a line of codes and it will redirect you into a screen where you need to install android before installing android you need to format your virtual disk in order to make it compatible to hold the android and the files which you're going to download or insert later into the virtual machine go into create our partition option and there it is your 20 gigs virtual disk image file select that and now we are going to format it so before formatting we are we need to partition it into two sections one section will be holding the operating system and system apps and files and the other part will be simple for storing songs or if you want to view movies inside your virtual machines and for stuff like select the 20 gig storage and and create a new partition by selecting the new option select primary and after selecting primary it will ask you for the size so specify the size up to 10 gigs for safer side and after that press enter and now a primary partition from your virtual disk image will be created and now make this primary partition as the bootable partition by flagging it bootable and after doing this thing uh, now it's time to create a logical storage for putting other stuffs in the same way new and then select logical and now we have a primary partition and a logical partition and after performing two of these things don't go away don't go out because your changes are not yet saved so to save your changes select the option right 
select the partition and select the option right and type yes and enter to save all the changes which you have caused to the virtual disk image file and after performing all these things quit and go out after going out it's time to install the operating system into the virtual machine you'll have lots of partition options is there one two and some of the numbers but as we know our primary partition is named as sda1 so select that and now it's time to install the os and it will ask you whether you need to form it and of course you need to format it to hold the Linux operating system so select that and select the ext4 partition table type because this file system type is suitable for Linux operating systems and so I have to select that it will ask whether you need to uh, install grub bootloader and this grub bootloader loads up your Android operating system and it lets you boot into the OS straight away so you need that and after that it's time to install it the installation won't take more than a minute so patiently wait for it and after installing the first boot and before booting it will ask you two options whether to run android or whether to reboot and here now we have to reboot it for perfect installation and before rebooting you have to keep one thing in mind the optical device drive that is the virtual optical device drive where we have loaded the ISO file is still running inside the virtual machine and once you reboot it will directly reboot into the optical device driver so in order to prevent that you need to close the optical device drive so select the disk option from the top toolbar and uh, there will be a check mark near the android x86.0 ISO file just click that again which will unmount the virtual optical driver from your virtual machine and after doing that we are all set and now it's time to reboot your virtual machine and after after rebooting it will boot straight away into your android operating system and as it is the first boot it might take some time so patiently wait for it and after booting here it comes the android 6.0 virtual machine inside a windows operating system without affecting any basic functionalities of windows by the way and this virtual machines are basically used for testing and development and educational purposes so utilize it properly if you want to test your own made applications or if you want to play with android instead of uh, breaking or playing with your smartphone you can try all your tricks inside this virtual machine which will not affect your pc or your device in any way so that is all with this video I hope you enjoyed the video if you did so give me a like if you didn't so give me a dislike and uh, more videos on the way so stay subscribed if you are already a subscriber then thanks for subscribing I will hopefully meet you guys and girls on the next one until and unless it's bye bye from IT assistance